Welcome to part 39 of Let's Play Pokemon Crystal. Let's continue the game. Okay, since the last part, I've done a lot of training. Um, most of my Pokemon are now at level 50. Let's have a look. Um, Tyrogue, I've trained him up to level 15, not to level 19, uh, because um, I want to make sure that his uh, defense is greater than his attack, or that they're equal, so I can get a Hitmonchan or Hitmontop, respectively and not another Hitmon Lee. So it might be difficult to do that if I uh, train him up to level 19 without sorting that out beforehand. Um, Pidgeot's now at level 50. I think it tried to learn agility, but I wouldn't let it because it already has uh, some decent moves. I really like um, Sand Attack, Wing Attack, and Quick Attack, and of course I can't get rid of Fly without uh, uh, going to the Move Deleter. Um, Delibird is at level 50. Um, he doesn't learn anything. So that's that. You have to teach him things. So he still has present. It was remarkably difficult to train him up, I must say. Um, uh, luckily, I had the fast forward button. Um, pretty much, I just had to hope that the present was bad, and then it uh, it mostly one hitted the uh, uh, the weaker Pokemon. But sometimes it was the it was the thing giving um, it was the thing putting their health up, which was really annoying. But yeah, that was that. Um, uh, let's show you all the others. Uh, uh, whoops, wrong one. Actually, let's just get rid of um, Deli Bird. Um, and Tyrogue, yeah. Okay, I'll deal with that later. Um, I'm still annoyed that I thought Tyrogue evolved when he was happy. It isn't, it's always at, always at level 20. You know, he knocked out at level 50. Let's have a look at him. Um... He learned uh, Reflect or something, I can't remember. Um, Butterfree's at level 50. Uh, he learned um, Safeguard or something, I'm not entirely sure what that does, but who cares. Um, Persian's at level 50 as well. Uh, Fury Swipes, Faint Attack, yeah they're pretty decent. It has two Dark moves, Faint Attack and Bite. Um, Gyarados is the Red Gyarados. So you learn Hyper Beam and Hydro Pump and and Rain Dance. Uh, Rain Dance increases the power of Water Type moves for, uh, for five turns, so it makes Hydro Pump even more powerful. And I kept Dragon Rage, so that's good. Um, Magneton. He's at level 50 as well. Uh, Lock On, Screech, Tri Attack, and uh, Sonic Boom. Can't remember if it learned anything else. Uh, Tentacles at level 52. Uh, Barrier and Screech, so that's Bubble Beam and Acid, so that's quite good. Not overly brilliant, but it's alright. Um, Beedrill. Uh, Agility and Rage, it still knows Pin Missile into a Needle, so that's good. Um, Venomoth. Oh yeah, I managed to find the Amulet Coin, by the way. It was being held by Alakazam, so I've got that back. Uh, yep, Sleep Powder, Poison Powder, Psy Beam and Confusion, so that's quite good. <clears throat> um, Golduck, Fury Swipes, uh, Confusion, Psych Up, I'm entirely sure what that does, but increases attack or something, and Screech, that's quite good. Uh, Unknown still just knows Hidden Power, it was tough getting him to level 50 because Hidden Power doesn't work on some Pokemon, so... But he's now at level 50, uh, Crobat. Crobat learned Mean Look, which will be really handy when I when I uh, find Raikou and uh, Entai, because Mean Look prevents him from running away. So I think I'll get him out actually, because Mean Look is quite handy uh, before that. So that's good. But yeah, uh, good thing is Crobat still learns moves after he evolves. It's only the ones that evolve with a stone that don't learn moves anymore. And I did confirm that they don't learn moves anymore after they. Well, unless you teach them one after they evolve with a stone. Don't know if that's for the ones that evolve with a sunstone, but it's definitely for the ones with moonstone, leafstone, waterstone, thunderstone, and firestone. Okay, so um, Gengar is at level 50 as well. Uh, yep, I think he tried to learn something, but I wouldn't let him. It was something rubbish because I really uh, I want to keep uh, hypnosis and dream eater because they're they're good moves. Yeah, so that's good. I'm pretty happy with how Gengar is at the moment. Um, Execute is ready to evolve with the Leaf Stone. Um, he learned his final move, which is Solar Beam, at level 43. So hence he's at level 43. So I will actually get him out 
and then we can use the leaf stone on him. We'll have to get another leaf stone from somewhere. Um. Okay, Sea King. Now, interestingly, Sea King learnt Waterfall, which is an eight gem, which is a bit weird, but which makes me a bit annoyed for teaching Waterfall to Kingler because he has Waterfall as well. I think he was going to learn Horn Drill, but I stupidly said no, and then I accidentally said, "Do you want to give up learning uh, Horn Drill?" And I said yes. I think it was that. Yeah, it was the one with yeah, it was one with Fury Attack and Horn Attack. So I didn't say learn Horn Drill, which is really annoying. But but that time I'd already done loads of training, and I couldn't be bothered to start all over again just for Horn Drill. So that's that. Uh, Hitmon Lee. He learned my, uh, Mind Reader, Mega Kick, and Endure, and he still has High Jump Kick, so that's really good. Uh, Deli Bird, I've already shown you that. So, let's have a look at Box 2. Be back in just a tick, just going to get a drink of water. Alright, that's better. Alright, let's have a look. Oh yeah, Spearow. I still need to train him up to level 20 to get the Fearo. I'll do that now, I think. That shouldn't take too long. Okay, King was at level 50. Uh, learned Crab Hammer, um, which is... I can't remember what it does exactly, but yeah. So that's that. Uh, Weeping Bell, he's ready to evolve. No, um, oh, no, he's not actually. He needs to... I can't remember if he is actually. I think he needs to go to level 51. I think there's a move he learns at level 51. I think. So I won't use the leaf stone on him. But yeah, he learned Razor Leaf. I can't remember if I showed you that. Um, Azumarill. Yeah, it's oh yeah, it's not. I didn't teach Waterfall to King last. Taught it to uh, to Azumarill. Yeah, so I shouldn't have taught it to Waterfall um, to Azumarill because uh, Seeking learns it naturally. Uh, whoops. Oh, I didn't know you could press that ball down. Brilliant. Um, uh, that's lucky. Um, yeah, so double edge and waterfall. That's what he learnt. Oh, no, I taught him waterfall, didn't I? Uh, Quagsire, yeah, still the same. Level 50. Gramble's level 50. I think he might have wanted to learn something, but I didn't let him because I wanted to keep rock smashing strength and, and rage and bite, so I didn't let him learn anything else. Raticate hasn't learned anything else. He's just level 50, so that's good. Sudowoodo, um, I think he learned Slam or something, so that's that. A Hypno learned Psychic, so that's really good. Golem, tried to learn Explosion, but I wouldn't let him because I like the other, I don't like the, uh, the, the suicide moves like Self Destruct and Explosion because, well, because, because uh, they, because uh, they, uh, they faint the Pokemon using them. So, don't like it. Uh, Ditto still just knows Transform. That hasn't changed, of course. Uh, Dratini, he's ready to evolve into Dragonair level 29. So, let's get him out, actually. So, that's good. Um, let's keep going. Sand Slash. There's uh, that. Yep, it's good. All those moves still. Electro. Oh, I should have done that. Let's get put Electrode away again. Okay, uh, Sans, I mean, Sans, Electrode, uh, Mirror Coat, and Swift, so that's good. And bizarrely, no electric moves, even though it's supposed to be electric. Yeah, don't understand that at all. Okay, let's change the box one more time. Go on to box... What one are we on? Uh, three, maybe? Oh, I knew that was the wrong one. Well, I didn't, because otherwise I wouldn't have done it, but... It was 50-50. Let's have a look. Okay, jump plus level 50. And then Mega Drain. Uh, so that's that. Um, Gligar's at level 50 as well. Oops, wrong one. Um, 
Yeah, slash, screech, faint attack, and quick attack. Brilliant. Done as far as level 50. That was took ages because it was level 4, wasn't it? No, it was take down, pursuit, glare, and spike. I think it might have wanted to learn screech, but I kept glare. So, it's not too bad. Uh, Wobbuffet, Counter, Miracoat, Safeguard, and Destiny Bond. Not great. Still looks like it's constipated, though. I mean, look at it. It's like, mmm. Uh, Yanmar, Sonic Boom Detect, Wing Attack, and Screech. Brilliant. Um, Ledian, the Ladybird's um, superhero. Reflect, Swift, Comet Punch, and Safeguard. Pretty pr pretty average. Goes for Ariados as well. Spiderweb, Nightshade, Scary Face, and Fury Swipes. But as Nightshade, which is okay. I'm not entirely sure what Spiderweb does. Um, in fact, I'm not sure so much. I'm going to get it out and have a look. Okay, so yeah, in my R box, let's have a look at him. Ah, oh, wrong one again. Uh, acid, glare, screech, and bite. Brilliant. Glare, of course, causes paralysis. A wheezing. Whoops. Why do I keep screwing this up? Sludge, haze, smog, and self destruct. So, that's that. Uh, slow bro. That really is. Uh, it's a shelter constantly biting on his tail. Uh, let's have a look at slow bro. Why do I keep mucking this up? Amnesia, headbutt, confusion, and water gun. Not that great. Um, Poliwild is ready to evolve with the... Yeah, he's at level 51 because he learns Hydro Pump at level 51. So I took him up... Yeah, that's the one. I didn't do the one with the um, Weeping Bell. He needs to go to level 54, I think. But Poliwild is ready to evolve into Poliwrath with the Waterstone. Or um, Politoad with the with the King's Symbol. With the King's Rock. King's Symbol. I'll keep calling it King's Symbol because someone at school called it that. Anyway, um... Yeah, Body Slam, Rain Dance, Belly Drum, and Hydro Pump. Belly Drum increases your attack, but reduces your defense, or something like that. No, reduces your HP, but increases attack, something like that. Yeah, so... I think I'll get a Politoed as soon as I get another Poliwhirl, because that evolves with trading with the King's Rock, and I don't think that's like Poliwhirl. It's not like Poliwhirl. Poliwhirl doesn't learn any moves on his own. As Politoed does, I think. But uh, this one's turning into into, into Polyrath, definitely. So yeah, I need the Waterstone for that, which I don't have, uh, because otherwise, if I did have one, I'd do that Ruins of Alf thing. So I don't have a Waterstone yet. So I have to get one of them. Okay, A Bombs level 50, uh, 50, yep. Yeah. Swift, Fury, Swipes, Agility, and Baton Pass. Pretty forgettable, considering how, which is annoying, considering how difficult it was to get. Uh, Blue Gyarados, Rain Dance, Hyper Beam, Bite, and Hydro Pump. So that's good. Um, Furret, Rest Slam, Quick Attack, Fury Swipe. It's pretty rubbish move to level 50 Pokemon, really. Let's so get it. Safeguard, Double Edge, Metronome, and Sweet Kiss. So you learn Double Edge, which is really good, as opposed to the awful Metronome. Uh, Meganium, Body Slam, Light Screen, Razor Leaf, and Synthesis. So that's alright. No Solar Beam. Jigglypuff's ready to evolve with the Moonstone because he's learned his final move. No, he actually learned his final move at. Um, 13, level 39, I think. So I've left him. So I accidentally evolved, traded, trained him up to level 44, and I didn't realise. Yeah, he he's ready to evolve with the Moonstone. Then we have Alakazam, Recover, Psychic, Reflect, and Psy Beam. So it's really good, really powerful. Lapras, Confuse Ray, Ice Beam, Rain Dance, and Body Slam. I don't know what the point of having Rain Dance is, because it doesn't actually know any water moves, but I was hoping it would eventually learn Hydro Pump, and I'll replace Confuse Ray with Hydro Pump. But it hasn't happened yet. And that's that. Okay, so let's... First of all, let's... Let's get out a Leaf Stone for... Is it a Leaf Stone? I don't know. Is it... What, what do I need? Uh, oh yeah, Leaf Stone for Execute, yeah. I always forget about him. No, wrong one. Yep. Yeah. Need that Leaf Stone. I'll have to get another one from somewhere. Here it is. Yep. 
Okay, Lee Stone, let's get an executor. What? Executor's evolving. Yeah, so it's learned all its moves now, so I can evolve it. Um, executor doesn't learn any moves on its own, I think. I don't understand how a group of eggs turns into a tree. Congratulations, you execute. Evolved into executor. Brilliant. Okay, so let's uh, get rid of him again. Let's withdraw Jigglypuff. And a Moonstone, we do have two of them or whatever. There it is. Yep, one Firestone. What do I have? Oh, never mind. What Jigglypuff is evolving? We still need an Iggly buff though, so I'll have to breed it with a Ditto. Um, or, um, or with the Ditto. Okay. Congratulations, your Jigglypuff evolved into Wigglytuff. Okay, brilliant. Let's put him away. I'll have to train him up to level 50 at another time. Um, I, I would already have done it, but uh, I wanted to show you the evolution. Okay, let's get another another Pokemon out, I think. Anyway, where are we going? We're going to go and do the bug catching contest. Let's go and do that now. Oh yeah, first of all, Pokedex. Uh, what's the first? We got a um, Jigglypuff thing, didn't we? So let's look at that. Here it is. Jigglypuff, Clefable, Clefairy, Cleffer. So those ones. It's a balloon, three foot three, twenty-six pounds. The rich, fluffy fur that covers its body feels so good that anyone who feels it can't stop touching it. Brilliant. Okay, Executor. Let's just have a quick look at that. Yeah, that one's Poly Toad. There it is. Six foot seven, 265 pounds. Living in a good environment makes it grow lots of heads. A head that drops off becomes an Execute. Oh, weird. That makes sense. It's a coconut, apparently. Um, okay, that's that. Okay, so we're up to 96 on the Pokedex and 185 seen. Okay, so we're going to Golden Rod. Let's go and do the bug catching contest. Let's have a look. As today is Saturday, that means the bug catching contest is on today. The rules are simple. Using one of your Pokemon, catch a bug Pokemon to be judged. Would you like to give it a try? Yes. Uh oh. You have more than one Pokemon. You'll have to use Pidgeot, the first Pokemon in your party. Is that okay with you? No. Please choose the Pokemon to be used in the contest. Then come see me. Actually, go on. Let's just use that. Yes, we use Pidgeot. Is that okay with you? Yes. Fine, we'll hold your other Pokemon while you compete. This is Pokemon we're left with the contest helper. Here are the park balls for the contest. SC received 20 park balls. The person who gets the strongest bug Pokemon is the winner. You have 20 minutes. If you run out of park balls, you're done. You can keep the last Pokemon you catch as your own. Go out and catch the strongest bug Pokemon you can find. And the music changes. Okay, 
Okay, so we're looking for a pincer, a scythe, uh, a butter free, or a, or a beach or something like that. And you can find those ones here, only, but only during the bug catching contest. Let's get out of here. We don't want that. I'm going to win. Don't bother me. It's a metapod. Uh, oh, oh no! Uh, I'm never going to win this because I, sh I shouldn't have brought out Pidgeot with me. I thought it, I, f I forgot that it wasn't like the Safari game. So no, I'm going to win this now. You have to, you have to fight them. Yeah, that's what I'm looking for. That would win probably. The only thing I do is going to is going to kill it. There's no way to survive in that. I shouldn't have done that. I should have brought out something weaker. Anyway, that's the bug catching contest. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to load the game up because, okay, when I come back, I'll be doing the bug catching contest, but with a better Pokemon. Um, be right back. And I'm back. Let me just check the Pokedex quickly. Yep, 96. Good. I had to evolve uh, Jigglypuff and uh, execute again because uh, I didn't save it after I did it. Okay, so let's go. Okay, we're using Crobat this time because I can use Mean Look. And I can use Confuse Ray to get some health off. Okay, so I have a better chance this time. Okay, let's go. No, I'd rather have the normal music. Okay, what can we find? No, Venonat's terrible. I'm going to win, don't bother me. So looking for a Pinsir, a Scyther, a Butterfree or Beedrill, although Pinsir or Scyther will be better because I already have Butterfree and um, Beedrill. But they would probably win. I think a Venonat might get second, maybe. How did they make it so that only, only bug Pokemon are in the grass when the contest is on? I don't think it matters where you search, to be honest. Cocoon, I don't want that. That's what I'm after, a pincer. Okay, so we're going to use Mean Look. I don't know why Mean Look means it can't escape, but Enemy Pincer can't escape now. It's going to attempt to attack me and completely fail. And we're going to use Confuse Ray, so it can hurt itself a bit. Nope. Focus energy. Oh no, come on. Hurt yourself now, come on. Good, right. Now we're getting somewhere. Good 
got your head in a vice. That's from Casino. Pin says, confused no more. Doesn't matter about wasting the time on this. This will, this will make sure that I win. Is it immune to being confused or something? Just bloody confuse it and hurt yourself. Come on. Something with poison powder would be good, but then you run the risk of uh, of actually fainting it because you can't stop it from being poisoned. Confused no more. Oh no, still confused, good. Great. There we go, I can't use confuse, uh, confusion anymore. Confuse for anymore. I'll have to try and catch it with the 20 park balls. And if that fails, I'll just turn it off and start again. Why does that have to do it twice? Just do it once, for heaven's sake. Yeah, you have to use park balls, but like the annoying safari zone. Which we all know and hate. Oh, the safari zone. At least you can actually fight them in, um, not chuck bait or or stones at them. Yeah, on the fight the survivors, and if you throw bait, it makes them more likely not to run, but harder to catch. If you throw stones, it makes them more likely to run, but easier to catch. I don't know why that's the case. God for that, right. Stay in the ball. Thank God for that, right, Pinsir was caught, good. It's only level 13. Yeah, I think Safari Balls on the first generation, I think they're equivalent to Great Balls, but if you manage to Game Shark one, or Game Genie one, they appear as key items, so you can't actually delete them, but you can still use them. It's it's weirdly glitched, but you can't delete them, and it doesn't say how many there are in your possession, but it still remembers. So if you if you if you glit if you game shark three of them and you use three, they will disappear, but you can't delete them because it counts them as key items. Anyway, we now have a pincer. That's good. When the temperature drops at night, it sleeps on treetops or among roots where it is well hidden. It's a stag beetle. I've seen one of them, a real one. I mean, not this rubbish. Um. Four foot eleven and one hundred and twenty one pounds. Court pincer, good. Okay, that ought to be enough. Balls fifteen, level thirteen. Yeah, you only have to catch one, so if you catch another one then you have to forfeit the last one you got. Although it's still in the Pokedex, but you won't be able to keep it. You, you, you won't be able. To, you won't be able. Proper, you won't be able properly to keep it. So Pokedex now at 97 because we have Pinsir. Crobat is still really weak because bloody Pinsir. <sighs> Completely run out of confused rays. Right, let's get out of it. Now to leave early, just go to one of the exits. Paris. Don't have one of them. I'll have to catch one of them at some point, but I don't want to replace the pincer because then I'll lose. So I'll have to run away. I'll have to get a Paris another time. Are you okay, pa Are you alright, Paris? I think so. Remember that from tomorrow never dies. You still have 30 minutes left. Do you want to finish now? Yes. Okay, please wait here for the announcement of the winners. We will now judge the Pokemon you've caught. We have chosen the winners. Are you ready for this? 
Placing third was bug catcher Josh, who caught a scyther. Uh, this doesn't look good, I'm afraid. The score was 330 points. Placing second, uh, we got eh, we got second. SC, who caught a pincer. Uh, not first place, it's annoying. The score was 231 points. The bug catching goddess winner is Coltrane and Nick, who caught a butterfree. Yeah, I told you, it's always butterfree or beejaw, but I don't want to catch one of them because I already have one. The winning score was 255 points, but yeah, mean look is useful because they will run away. Uh, the the really good bugs will run away, and it's really frustrating. So use something with mean look, or put them to sleep, or something, just so they can't run away. Otherwise, you will be really frustrated with this. I only found it easy to catch that pins there because I used mean look. If I hadn't used mean look, it would have run away after after probably about two rounds, uh, after two turns. Uh, see the number two finisher wins Everstone. Uh, Everstone's rubbish. Let's see if the Everstone in the item pocket. Please join us for the next contest. We'll return the Pokemon we kept for you. Here you go. Giving it into the pincer you received? No. Yeah, uh, the third place I think gets a gold berry. That's a berry that gives 30 HP back. And first place gets the Sunstone, which you need to evolve Gloom into Bellasum or Sunkern into Sunflora. So you need to win this contest. Today's contest is over. We hope you will participate in the future. Yeah, you can only do one per per time. Don, luck plays a big part in this. You never know what Pokemon will appear. Nick, maybe you get a higher score for a Pokemon of an unusual colour. Benny, I caught a side there before, but I didn't win. Josh, I heard that somebody won with a Caterpie. Samuel, Don, I thought I would score higher. Okay, so that's that. Okay, so we'll have to uh, deal with Pinsir later, but at least we have it. Okay, where to now? Um, where, where are we going now? Oh, there's Syracune. That's interesting. Uh, let's deal with that in a mo. Um, first of all, let's have a look at Everstone. Yeah, Everstone stops the evolution also. If you have a Pokemon and, and, and you never want to evolve it, which is never me, you never want to have it evolve naturally, um, make it. I don't know what happens if you make old Everstone and give it a stone. I don't know what happens with that, but maybe you just forfeit the, the stone you give it, which would be stupid because they're rare. Anyway, Everstone, yeah, so if you have like a Pikachu, not Pikachu, sorry, like a Caterpie, and, and you don't want it to evolve into. Uh, excuse me, into a Metapod, and, and you're sick of pressing B every time it levels up. Just give it an Everstone to hold, and it will never evolve. It will never attempt to evolve. So pretty rubbish. I never use it. I'll, I'll probably sell it. Anyway, let's have a look. Let's have a talk with Syracoon. Off it goes. So that's that. Um, we're now going to. I'm going to see on the Pokedex where Entai is, and see if I can. Uh, that's reminding me. Actually, I wanted to. I wanted to see if I can catch one of the. Uh, one of the legendary beasts. There they are. Okay, Raikou. Okay, where is it? Area. It's down there right now. Let's let's go down there and see. If, no, let's not go down there. Let's go to another place and see if we can just sort of uh, bump into it, so to speak. So let's go to here. Okay, where is it now? It's over there, okay. Need to change routes. Yeah, that'll have moved it. Okay, is it here? No, it's over there now. What about Entai? Where's he? down there. Okay, let's go out again and come back. It's over there now. Right, Raikou. Ah, oh, really close. 
It's random, I think. It's just random, so I have to come out again. You want to go to a place where you can move routes really quickly, so you don't have to keep moving around. Oh, he's back there again. What about Entai? Where is he? It's still over there. He's there now. <coughs> um, I suppose it, no, it's not really nearby. This is what it takes, I'm afraid. I'll just have to get lucky. No, he's down there. If they are in your area, they are really easy to find. If they are in there, you will find them either on the first go in the grass or the second go. You will find them. They're not like you have to be in the grass and search a hundred times. You'll find them pretty easily if they are in your area. It's just it, it, it's just lining them up with the area. Yes, he's there. Good. Right, let's go and find him. Right, let's get a mean look out. Mean look is key here. You must have mean look. Um, I think they're at, le at level 40. Either put them to sleep, get, uh, put mean look on them, or put them to sleep, just anything, otherwise they'll run away immediately. Here we go, different music. See, I told you it was easy to find them when they're here. When they're in the right area, they're here. And if you hurt them, they'll be hurt next time you see them. So if, they, if you hurt them, then they run away, they'll be hurt the next time. So if you poison them, and then they run away, they'll be poisoned the next time as well. Wild Raikou appeared. Okay, so they're level 40, they have no sex, so they're not male or female, so you can't breed them. Okay, mean look immediately. That's it, and it can't run away then, otherwise it'll run away immediately. Okay, so now it'll attack. Okay, so we're going to use um, bites, just get its, uh, get its health down a bit. The good thing is it can't run away now. Mean look is better than sleep, because it might wake up and then run away, so... When I first did this on Silver, I didn't know about Mean Look. I wasn't... well, I did know about it, but I completely forgot about it, and... Uh, and uh, it was pretty rubbish, uh, and I had a bit of the sleep and stuff. But I, I did get them in the end, all, all three of them, including Suicune, because Suicune in Silver and Gold isn't... isn't uh, part of the plot. You just... you just catch them all quite... Um, you know, like this. That's good. That's good. Okay, now let's get uh, let's get Gengar out. Gengaras. I always think of Gengaras. I always think uh, Gengaras for some reason. And it fled. All right. So I guess you have to keep the Pokemon with m with mean look out. But it'll have that health next time it uh, next time that you encounter it. So let's go and heal up and have another go at catching it. Yeah, if you're going to do mean, I didn't realise, but if you do mean look, you have to keep the Pokemon out that has mean look. That use the mean look, otherwise it'll flee immediately. So that's a learning experience. So yes, that's how you catch them. And on Silver and Gold, that's how you caught Suicune as well, but uh, obviously not on this one. I don't know what I'm doing. Alright, so let's just go back there and wait for it to to spawn there again but yeah when it's in the area that uh, that you're in you can catch it really you can find it really easily you don't have to search around a hundred times like you just saw and then let's just see where it is on a pokedex again no it's over there now so just keep going back and forth until it spawns in the area I keep doing that yeah mean look is essential here or a Pokemon with sleep that you know uh, with a sleep move that's really fast and reliable sleep move like Spore, not Hypnosis. Although you could get away with Hypnosis, I suppose, but if you're lucky. But Mean Look is pretty essential here. No, nope. uh, there might be Entai here. Though. I could catch that instead. No, it's over there. And that'll be two more off the Pokedex, if I catch these. 
really annoyed I did that. I moved Crowbat, and it lost the mean look. I was surprised when it fled. I thought, oh, what's going on? I thought, oh yeah, I changed to to Gengar to do hip, uh, hypnosis to put it to sleep to make it easier to catch. So I said if I kept mean look on Gengar, it would have been ideal, really. But I'm going to have to put up with just. Uh, I'm going to have to put up with um, Crowbat and Mean Look and see if I can do a move. I'll, I'll see if I can confuse it and take some more health off it. Right, what about this? What about this then? Uh, no, he's over there. Yeah, it's, just, it's a painful experience, but uh, when I come back, I'll have found him. Okay, after ages, I think I finally found him or managed to catch up with him. Um, on um, in the place east of Ecratique. So um, we'll try to find him here. Hello, this is Todd. I see what are you doing? This is it. The one we've all been waiting for. Golden Rod Department Store's bargain sale is on now. Want it cheap? Want it lots? Don't miss this Golden Rod chance, huh? I sound like a huckster. Well, yeah, I was mimicking them. Anyway, you've got to get there as soon as you can. See you later. Click. Okay, we'll go there as soon as we've done, um, as soon as we've found, um, what's his name? <sighs> no, we can't because we don't have anything with Surf. Oh, my God. Okay, I'm going to go to Goldenrod now. That's really annoying. Let's go to Goldenrod now and see this department store sale, and then we'll catch up with annoying uh, Raikou in a bit. Yeah, he's a real pain in the backside. If you're near the area where you want him to appear, he, he doesn't appear there very much. He, it's really frustrating. Oh, anyway, right. Okay, so where's this? Uh, where's the sale then? She say anything? Uh, nope. Is there anything in the basement? No, it's still not open that place. I think it's only in the morning. Right, let's go to third floor, see if anything's there. Everything's a bit cheaper, if you notice. We don't want anything out. I want the iron and car boss. That's what I'm after. Uh, no, this is still full price. Well, what on earth was the sale, then? Uh, okay, let's get this. What was TMO8? Rock Smash. Uh, oh, we can teach Rock Smash to anything. Okay. I don't think much of that. The sale didn't have the car boss and stuff on sale. Alright, let's go back to finding Raikou. Okay, when I come back, I'll have found Raikou. Properly. Okay, I have managed to find a Growlithe. I don't think I have one of those yet. So we're going to find one. I mean, we're going to catch one. First of all, we're going to be doing Confuse Ray. Good. All right. We're going to be doing Mean Look, so we can't escape. How could the Crowbat flee in fear when I'm... It's not Crowbat, it's me! Okay, we'll, we'll be back. We'll have to put it to sleep, won't we? Okay, we'll be back. And we're back. Alright, okay, let's see if we can catch this one. Okay, let's do Confuse Ray first. Then we'll get Gengar out and put it to sleep. Okay, good. So far, so good. Okay, Gengar. Gengar us. Good. Right. Have a hypnosis. 
good. Okay, then we're going to use uh, some balls. Let's use a great ball. Nope. Good. Scrawny sorted. Right now we can go back to Raikou. Excuse me a moment. Okay, where was I? Um, sorry about that. Um, yep, yeah, two foot four, forty-two pounds. It controls a big territory. If it detects an unknown smell, it roars loudly to force out the intruder. Okay, brilliant. And it's a puppy. Okay, so we're going back to finding um, Raikou. I'll be back when I find it, I promise this time. Okay, this could be it. Right. Yep, go in there. It is in here, because I just saw it. Yep, it is definitely where I am. I just need to find it again. No. Nope. Didn't find it. it's a normal Pokemon. It is in this area though. Also, um, there are fan pits near where I found a Gligar uh, south of Blackthorn in the morning because I did play it at midnight and it changes the clock at midnight even though silver and gold it changed into the morning at four in the morning. But in this game it seems to change into the morning at twelve o'clock midnight, which is a bit strange. Sorry, I did the fast forward there. That's the best habit. Anyway, um, yeah, so I need to I need to find a fan pee at some point in the morning. No, it's a Magnemite. It shouldn't move as long as I don't change areas or routes. If I change routes... Oh no, it has, it has moved. That's really annoying. I'll be back when I find it again. This could be it. Oh no, it isn't. No, sorry. This is really, really annoying. It's always in a different area. Now it's down there. Okay, I'll be back. Okay, again, this should be it. Oh, no. It was definitely in this area. Is it still in this area? No, it's moved. Okay, I'll be back. Oh my god. Good grief, this thing is bloody difficult to find. For some reason, I was west of uh, Equity like before and it randomly appeared there again. And then I kept not finding it four times and I accidentally went to the, the left again to the next route, the route just above um, just above Olivine, and amazingly it was there too, so I thought, what's the only grass in this area? Well, it's that one just above Olivine, and here I am. I hate this thing. I hate it. Absolutely hate it. Right. Right, we're doing mean... Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Okay, I'll be back. Okay, here we are again. It's west of um, Equitique again. Oh my god, I hate this thing. Right, mean look. Thank you. Right, this this thing is... It's just evil. Pure evil. No, it's done raw. So then I flee. I'll be back. And again. Right, let's see if we can do this again. Right, mean look. Right. Right, it's done thunder shock. Thank you, it hasn't done raw. Right. Let's do confuse ray. Confuse ray. 
Right, hurt yourself. Hurt yourself, thank you. Right, we don't have a sleeping move, so we're going to use... We're going to use a ball. We're going to use our one and only Ultra Ball. This is going to be difficult. I don't even think this will work. Yeah. This thing is going to be tough. Um, okay, let's keep using Great Balls. I can't switch, because then it will run away. So if I have it kill Crobat, then I can use Hypnosis, hopefully, with... Um, it didn't appear to be, caught, uh, to be caught at all. I can use Hypnosis with Gengar. There is, of course, the Master Ball beckoning me, but I'm not using that. Because uh, there are harder Pokemon to catch than this. Uh. Uh, oh, um, it failed. Good. Apparently, Raw failed. I'd laugh if a Pokeball caught it. Nope. Uh, okay, great ball. I want the great ball does even worse than the poker ball. I can't get its health down any lower because then it will die, and then that's the end of it. That's the end of Raikou. Then it'll have to be a game shark situation, which would probably be easier. It can't escape because it's, it has mean look. As soon as the mean look is over, it will escape. So I have to have it kill Crobat. No, it's done, Wolf. I'll be back. Okay, we finally caught up with it again. I'm getting really, really annoyed with this. Um, I tried experimenting and trying to catch it off camera. I tried putting uh, Gengar at the head of the party with the hypnosis. Kinda wish I hadn't got rid of Mean Look, um, hadn't gotten rid of Mean Look with Gengar because I could have had Mean Look and Hypnosis on the same Pokemon, but if I have Gengar at the head of the party, he cannot do Hypnosis before um, Raikou runs away. I have to do Mean Look, uh, which means I have to have Crobat at the head of the party. He runs away every time. Um, I, yeah, I got so pissed off, I've been trying to catch it off camera, um, and, and so. I gave up on that idea. I think I'm just going to use the Master Ball and just and just worry about Entai and Suicune when I get up to them. I'll I'll, um, I'll figure something out. I'll have a better plan. I'll have some better Pokemon and stuff by that time because this is just extremely difficult. He just will not stay inside a Great Ball. He just won't do it. I, I got some more balls and I've used a load of them up. Just wasted my money a bit. Ultra Ball, Great Ball again. I'll use another Ultra Ball. I mean... This, this isn't fun. How could they design this? This isn't a fun aspect of the game. It's just it. It's just depressing. I mean, the best I can hope for at this stage is, oh great, is to um, is to have it uh, have it kill my Crobat, and then hope maybe get Gengar out and have it do hypnosis before it, it runs away. But that's not going to happen. I'll do one more ball, and then I'm using the Master Ball, because I'm just really sick of this. I'll worry about the others when I get up to them. So it just, it rolls once, and it, don't, it won't even nearly catch it. And the worst thing is, even if you use Mean Look, it could still use, it's like a, the worst thing about it. I mean, if you don't use Mean Look, it runs away immediately, it just goes. And if you do use Mean Look, it can still use Raw. It can still use Raw. Which means it runs away anyway. There's nothing you can do to stop what you, Not even Mean Look can stop Raw. So I'm just going to use the Master Ball because I'm really sick of this. I've just, it's doing my head in. Yeah, there's a special animation for the Master Ball. I'll have to worry about getting another Master Ball later. But this is just ridiculous. Alright, we've got Raikou. What a little sod. 
Six foot three, three hundred and ninety-two pounds, plus it's difficult to find anyway. This rough Pokemon stores energy inside its body, then sweeps across the land, shooting off electricity. But it doesn't now, it lives with me. No, right, good. Okay, we now have Raigu. Wilton the Fisher. Or uh, ah, it's Wilton. Sorry for calling so late. My Goldine's grown impressive. My fishing skills have improved too. We beat a wild bell sprout. You know I have more fun fishing than beating wild Pokemon. Alright, later. Brilliant. Okay, so I don't know what I'm going to do about um, uh, Entai, Suicune, um, Lugia and Ho-Oh, how I'm going to catch them. I, I just don't know how I'm going to do it. At least with Lugia and Ho-Oh, they won't run away. But the other two do. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to do about them. I'll have to worry about that when I get, get to it. I just uh, At this moment, I just cannot be bothered to keep searching around for um, Raikou. I just can't do it. Right, do we still have what Pokemon do we have out? That Growlithe, good, right. There's one more thing I'd like to do before I end the video, actually. There is one thing I'd like to do. In here, you can catch a Stantler, whatever they're called. So I'm going to get one of them. I'll be back in a mo. Okay, we found one. I, I, I was starting to think they only appear in the daytime, but it, it is at night time, I think. Okay, let's do mean look so it cannot run away. Okay, let's do Confuse Ray. Get its health down. Hate yourself. Good. Okay, I don't think it's going to run... I'm just really paranoid with things running away now. Let's get Growlithe out. Ugh, great. Let's do Bite. Good. Do another bite. I don't think Stantler evolves. I don't think it does anyway. Let's do a Pokeball since I've wasted the Master Ball now. I don't feel I don't feel good about using that Master Ball. It's it's, it's a cop out. I wanted to save the Master Ball for oh, for um I don't know Lugia or Ho-Oh, but I can't do that now, can I? Okay, great ball. I mean, even if I manage to get Raikou asle asleep and with its health down, it would still take loads of balls to do it. Why is this it's taking so long to catch this thing? It's only a Stantler, level 14. Its health is all the way to the bottom. What else do I have to do? Thank you. Okay, so we have a Stantler, good. Bighorn, 4 foot 7, 157 pounds. The round balls found on the fallen antlers can be ground into a powder that aids in sleeping. No, we won't. Okay. Okay, let's save the game and end the video because I'm really sick of this. I'll have to train up those Pokemon now, and uh, Growlithe needs a Firestone to evolve into Arcanine or whatever his name is. Keep catching those po that legendary Pokemon, and still have to catch Entai. Okay, next video I'll have, I'll have trained up the Pokemon to level 50 or whatever, and Raikou up to level 50, and I'll uh, be thinking about how to get another Master Ball. So thanks for watching. Oh, 100 on the Pokedex now. That's a milestone. So thanks for watching, and goodbye.